Christmas has come early, we're deep frying a turkey. This is how you do it. Do you know approximately 5,000 people a year burn down their house deep frying a turkey? Isn't that funny? And there's one reason for it. There is a thing called displacement. When you put this turkey into any liquid, it displaces the liquid. If there is too much liquid, it displaces the liquid outside of the pot, which means boiling oil goes dribbling down the side of your pot onto a open flame. And what you have here is an inferno which will burn down your house. If it's outside, all that will happen is the gas bottle will explode. So when the inferno starts you just have to run and you should be okay make sure you have a fire extinguisher somewhere nearby first step brining the bird in here I have 35 liters of water I am going to create a 10% brine 10% of 35 is three and a half kilos half of that will be salt half of it will be sugar that's 1.75 kilos of salt 1.75 kilos of sugar the water is heating up my brine will be clove cinnamon bay leaf salt sugar 10% to prepare your brine very simply dump all of those ingredients in into the warm water or the heated water and stir till dissolved. Your brine is ready and you must cool it. You do not want to plunge this beautiful turkey into hot water. Stir it to dissolve the ice. Get our beautiful turkey, beautiful brine, put it away. Good night. 24 hours later, I changed my hat. The turkey is brined. Step two, take it out, get it onto a tray. This is really looking good. I mean, you can just see the color of everything has changed. The texture is slightly firmer. First step, let's dry it. Bit of paper towel and literally just dab it. It's important when deep frying a turkey to have it as dry as possible. Water and oil don't like each other. So the drier it is, the better it will be inside and out. And the next stage in the process, we're gonna make a beautiful maple butter garlic injection basting. So for this basting, very simple. Salted butter, three cloves of garlic crushed, good quality maple syrup. End of story. Get the butter in. Once the butter has completely melted, switch off the heat. Don't boil it. And the garlic has been crushed so it's small enough to get into the syringe. And the next thing is a really good glug of maple syrup. Okay, give that a good mix so it all incorporates and you get this beautiful buttery-like syrup with that wonderful garlic. That's a winner winner turkey dinner. The next tool you need, some sort of a syringe. These are proper meat syringes. They have a very large needle. You can just use a regular syringe, but if you can get a meat injector, they're better because the needle is slightly wider so you can get more in there. So suck up a good amount into your syringe, jab it in and squirt and then move it and squirt and 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 just get it everywhere. Just get every square inch of that bird soaked from the inside with this beautiful maple butter and garlic. That does two things. It'll start to infuse and marinate from the inside. It's already been brined, so we are building layer of flavor upon flavor here, and it's internal marination. There's a little bit left here. This will be for later when the bird is done. I'm just gonna set that aside. And then this will go back in the fridge for another eight hours for two reasons. One, let that marinade work a little bit, and two, to let it dry out. So we're almost there. The most dangerous part of our entire Christmas dinner affair. Putting your turkey on the frame, head first. Where its head used to be, a little hole that runs all the way back to where its bottom currently is. And by its bottom, I mean its ass. Pick it up, stick it over the frame like that. This is actually the turkey's back. This is its breast. Along its backbone, push it forward, and you want the bird resting like that so that the breast falls away and keeps the body cavity open so the oil can pour in. So the first thing I'm going to do is bind this just here with a little bit of wire so it stays exactly like this. The second thing, you don't want the wings doing that as they are. What I like to do is bind the wings like this underneath the bird so that if they were here close to its body they stop this meat from being cooked and getting crispy if they're here like that everything can get crispy so we're now going to bind the wings just there just like that there she is 
ready to be dropped into 175 degrees centigrade of hot oil. One really important thing, cooking time, cooking temperature, essential. 175 degrees centigrade or 350 degrees Fahrenheit. That's the temperature you want to start your oil and try and keep your oil. So you have to keep an eye on it with your essential tool, which is your thermometer. Make sure the thermometer you have goes up to that temperature. Three and a half minutes per pound or three and a half minutes per 500 grams. That is a 13 pound turkey that equates to 45 to 46 minutes of cooking time. That turkey would take a couple of hours minimum in the oven. In this, it's 45 minutes, it's done and it will be beautiful. Very important, don't just drop it in. That's a bad idea. Here is a relatively cold turkey. Here is very hot oil. So what you wanna do is just lower it slowly. So as a result, you need something as long enough that allows you to do that. I have this massive thing here, which I will hook onto here like this, and then I can drop it in. Here we go. Gently lower it in, don't be afraid, be in control. Slowly lower the turkey into the oil. You wanna just drop it in gently until it's in so you don't get that enormous bubbling because it could overflow. Forty-five minutes in, I reckon it's time to get it out. You notice anything different about me? Yes, I put on my special Christmas apron just for this moment. So what we're gonna do is get it out, put it into this. This will catch some of the oil because it will inevitably be dripping. Let's have a look. Be very careful with this bit. Take it out gently, let the oil drain out. And take the temperature of the leg meat and see where we're at. We're good, 82 degrees on the breast. That is perfect. Then let it rest for about 15 to 20 minutes. Just let it be on its own. Contemplate its last few minutes in life. That's what you need to do. So I'll get it off the frame and we're just gonna let it sit and rest. That is just looking amazing. And it smells outstanding. The last bit is a little bit of this beautiful maple butter glaze over the top. Just gives it that wonderful finish, flavor and the look, you know, it just, Everything just starts to come to life, it shines. It's gorgeous. Don't be shy with this, get it everywhere. I'm literally having moments of salivation. <clears throat> get it onto your board. Oh, look how crispy it is, be careful. There we go. And that there is a very Merry Christmas. That is how you have to cook your turkey this year. Oh, I cannot wait to taste it. Right. Somebody has come for his Christmas treat. I mean, you got all dressed up, we've got to give him something, don't we? Hello, bear. Did you get dressed up for Christmas? Ooh. Okay, here you go. Good boy, off you go. The thing about a deep fried turkey is the moist meat and the crispy exterior. That's what you're working for. Let's see if we've achieved it. Look at how moist it is still. You've got these little pockets where the marinade's gone in. Truly outstanding. Moist, crispy, maple, butter, garlic. I mean, what is not to love? That is a winner. You have got to try it. It is a process, but it is absolutely worth it. This is all about celebration. You've got to make Christmas the best it can be. And it sits around a turkey. Santa needs his little helpers who are just on standby. Hello, ladies. Come here. I need your opinion. Okay, who wants a taste? Me. The thing about children, they have no filters. I'm going to get an honest opinion here. Miss Malou. Miss Indiana. What does that face say? It's really good. Hey? Punch it. Right, thank you very much, girls. Follow this recipe, give it a go. Be fearless at Christmas. This is all about fearless food. Make people happy. That's the way you're gonna do it. Go and deep fry your turkey. Do it. That's an absolute winner. Zip it. Merry Christmas. Have a good one. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a deep fried turkey. <laughs>